We're here at Bard on the Beach in Vancouver and we're here to check out a new production of a Shakespearean play called All's Well That Ends Well. Now this version might be different from what you're used to because it's actually set in 1946 India right as the British are leaving the country and India is on the cusp of independence. So we're going to go talk with the actress and the director and find out what makes this version unique. For me, it's like sometimes living in Canada, I don't feel like I'm quite Indian enough, mm -hmm. but I don't feel like I'm quite Canadian enough. Yes. And plays like this yeah. kind of bridge that gap. Yes. I wonder how that feels for you as an actress. Do you feel like some of that too? Especially in Shakespeare's time, there's some language that talks about, oh, this this woman is so fair and beautiful. And you're like, well, mm, I don't know how it's gonna, you know, and so yeah. we're having to re-examine the language and change it to find new meaning so that it can be inclusive for everybody. To set it in pre-partition India, it's, uh, it's really special because suddenly we're getting so many more South Asians coming to see the show and we can mm. see their faces in the audience and suddenly they can see themselves in the story in a way that maybe they couldn't before. And that was one of the things that really struck me too is that I was like, are there so many Indian or like Indian descent actors here in Canada? And where are they? Why don't I see them all yeah, the time? You know? Yeah. Well, you know, because usually you get like, oh, maybe there's one or two in every play, you know what I mean? And it really doesn't show the wealth of talent that our community has. Back and forward. What we're exploring in this, in this adaptation is, is the question of identity. And, and I think we as Canadians are going through this whole question of what is the Canadian identity. Mm -hmm. And the Canadian identity is so much about people like you and I and about a lot more. So the Canadian identity is changing and I think Canadians today are asking that question of uh, where do I fit in, as a, uh, what's my cultural belonging. We, if we want to create the world that was 1946-47 in India, we can't just do it in English. Uh, and it was kind of like old school Hindi too. Yeah. Like it's not the way you and I would talk it these no. days. Yeah. So it was a pretty complicated process because we still wanted to honor what the text was, which is the Shakespearean text. And that's not plain English. And if you ever look into translating English and Hindi, they don't go word for word because it's grammatically different, the alphabet is different. Where did the pilgrims lodge? I do beseech you. <laughs> All's Well That Ends Well runs until August 11th at Bard on the Beach. For CBC News, I'm Tamara Belugia.